Hello everyone, today we're gonna to be making a uh, fish pizza. So what I got is I got two pieces of tilapia and some haddock. Uh, I got some cactus, which I'm gonna put on there, and I got a little bit of broccoli too. So I'm gonna make a heavy cream uh, lemon butter base. So I'm gonna get some butter melted up, and I got some oil in the pan because I'm gonna pan sear the, uh, the fish. Or actually more aptly, I should say, I'm gonna have my mother do it. So we're gonna get this going a little bit. I'm probably just going to use half a stick of butter for right now. Let's see if I got a knife. Oh, I guess she took all the cutting boards, so we'll just cut this right in half. We'll get that melted up a little bit here. We'll go on really low heat while we melt it. And then we'll wait for this oiled a little get a little bit more and we'll put the fish in too and while we're doing that I'm gonna go do the cactus you have to drain it and then rinse it so I got some stuff for that look out Wouldn't look it out cheaper to do it that I'm just gonna put a little bit of this cactus in here a little bit more that should be good rinse it out with a little bit of cold water you got like a little tray at the bottom I can use do you have a tray, like a tray I can put at the bottom of this? No, uh, no, it'll be fine. I have some broccoli I'm also gonna put on this pizza, but I gotta wash my hands again and check on my uh, butter. Here's the butter looking good. The oil's burning, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I'll get my fish in there really quick while I have a chance. I'm gonna put a little bit of Montreal on both sides. Where is it? I'm gonna put the skin side down for the haddock and get that off there too. There we go. Alright, well that's cooking up. My butter's melting pretty good. I'm going to turn this a little bit lower. I'm gonna cut up my lemons. Why do I not have cutting boards over here? It kills me. Take the little peel off the lemon here. We'll cut this one. Take the seed out of here too if I can. There we go. Squeeze some juice in here. Oh, a little seed in there. That's all right. I'll spoon it out. What do I got? Do I got a spoon here? Use this. I use this absurdly large one. I'll just set it, set it behind me for a minute. A little bit more squeeze juice. And then we'll put a little bit of heavy cream in here. I think that should be alright. What do you think? That should be alright. Let's start with this. Let me get a little bit of mustard in there too. Yeah, good. Now it's gonna put a little bit more oil in there. That just up a little bit more. Oh, good, you got a whisk for me. Even better. Oh, that's looking good. Is it getting Done. thick? Is it thick enough? Just a minute. Leave it on there. Yep. It'll get thick. Got one right there too. Got three in there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, it's not gonna go on the cream sauce though. I'm just gonna cut these up and put them on the pizza. Cream sauce. 
sauce gonna go No, cream sauce gonna go as the base. Oh, I got you. And I got some Montreal and then some salt and black pepper. I was gonna put my cream sauce too. Put a little salt in there. And I have some thyme and uh, dill if you want to put them on the fish, that would be awesome. Put a little bit of black pepper in here. <laughs> I think we need a smaller whisk. I'm not really whisking anything. All I'm doing is just using the front of it. Oh, I don't need that much lemon. I got a lemon base, Ma. I wanted it just pan seared. Oh, I got you. Get a I new pan. You. Get us a new pan really quick. That's why I made the lemon butter base, Ma. This is how we anyway. I know that tilapia is definitely done. Yeah. Here, I'll get a plate for the tilapia then. No, I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it like that. Oh, let me get out of here wet. I'll wait until my oil heats up a little bit. Put a little bit of thyme on these. I was gonna put them on the pizza itself, but yeah, you know what? We'll put the dill and the thyme on the pizza itself, so that won't be a big deal. We'll take it over with our lemon butter sauce, which is looking pretty thick. I know you have your tongs there, but I grabbed another thing. <laughs> She's freaking out. She's trying to blanch it on me. I'm not blanching it, it's gotta be flipped. Yeah, but it's not even fucking hot yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, that consistency looks nice. I'm just gonna blow it up a little bit. Draw the flavor out. For a small no. Oh, look at that. That's good. Don't get it too hot because then it'll melt through the pizza. I'll go apply that then while you're cooking up my fish. Just pan syrup, mother. <laughs> I gotta get out of here line. Yeah, it's not really as thick as I want it, but it should be all right here. I'll hold it. It'll be fine. I'll hold it over here. She's a freak. You broke off all the skin. That's all right. No, that's all right. I'm cutting it up anyway, so we can just throw the skin right out. I actually don't throw the skin out. We're going to eat it. Yeah, that should be perfect. perfect. Nice. All right, so I got my lemon butter sauce here. It's not as thick as I like it, but that's okay. Should still be fine. So we'll put this right on the pizza. I think I just made the perfect amount too. Spread it around. Yeah, I got my cactus over here. Okay, that should be good with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme underneath here. And we'll put a little bit of dill. Now 
these are going to be really moist, so I'm going to actually get a paper towel. Try and make them a little less moist. It's good that they are moist, though. We'll break it apart. Alright, we'll put on the fish first. Just kind of go all over the pizza with it. Yeah. Good. We'll put a little bit of cactus all over the place. Ba Bam. I really like this cactus. It's really, really, really good. For those who haven't had cactus before, it's got the consistency of like a green bean or a pepper, and it's just got like a, a crunch to it. It is incredibly good. And we'll put a little bit of broccoli on here too. Fuck it. Broccoli won't hurt nothing. I'm not gonna put too much of the broccoli though. It's kind of whatever. It's just to give it a little color. We'll balance out all the greens. Here we go, now I gotta wash my hands. Alright, now we gotta put on some cheese. We'll do another layer of cheese right on top of here. Now this is really, really thick cut cheese and it has a kiss of buffalo milk in it. So you, I don't want to use too much of it, but here we go. Here's our pizza and we'll get it cooked up. Put it right in. All right, let's take a look at our pizza. It hasn't been too long. We're going. I'm going to bend down a little bit more because I don't know how it's looking in there. Looking good. All right, let's see how this baby's looking. Looks good from about here. I got to get my pizza peel underneath it so I make sure it's not stuck. Ah, oh, it's stuck really bad. It's usually what happens when you put really hot toppings on a pizza, the dough, it gets the dough really warm and it sticks to the screen. That's why we have trouble with our cheesesteak pizza. It's pretty much ready too, so I'm gonna pull it right out. Yeah. I'll just work on it, work underneath it. Hopefully it doesn't come apart anywhere. No, you don't smell the fish at all. Here we go. Finally got it. And here's our pizza. I'm gonna dab it just a tiny bit. Run this through real quick. See, this is what happens a little bit. You get the pizza stuck in some areas, especially with hot toppings, like I said, with cheese steak. So we run it through a little bit more. I'm gonna give it just one quick ooh, a lily a dab. And I'm gonna give it a cut. You gotta put some extra strength into it, make sure you cut it all the way. Sometimes people don't cut it all the way through. And if they don't, that's what we got skizzers for. I'm gonna give one extra little tiny cut. I have no idea if there's any fish on this or not. But we'll see if the, anybody else wants to try some. My mother's daring, she'll try a little piece of it. Can you get it? There should have been a little bit of fish on there. It's 
like broccoli pizza. Oh, it tastes just like broccoli. You probably didn't get enough of the fish, but I'll leave this here for you. All right, I'm gonna try and, I see a couple pieces of fish on the front there. I'll try and fold it. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. You don't really taste the fish. I mean, you get the consistency of the fish when you're eating it, but it's a... Uh, mm. It's really good. If you like fish, you will love this. I mean, the cactus ain't even that bad either. It's a little extra bite consistency with the uh, the fish that's a little bit soft. And then a uh, little crunch from the cactus. And a little crack. A uh, little, eh. A little crunch from the broccoli as well. Look, here's another piece of fish with it. So just go right in on this. Ow. Mm. Really good.